Man stumbles onto film set let the story commence. Craig went to LA on holiday. At California in general was going to be going to LA, San Francisco, and San Jose. And he wanted to visit the, the weekend of uh, seaside bit, uh, fun fair, whatever you call it, where um, The Lost Boys was filmed, which is San Santa Cruz. There it is. Fuck me, I want to go there, man. I want to go there. See when I went to Santa Monica Pier and went on that fucking that big wheel, that wee big wheel, feeling like I was in fucking uh, Grand Theft Auto. Fucking brilliant, so it was. Fucking brilliant. Um. Anyway, so he went there, went to um, their places, went to LA, and walking about Hollywood and got a bit lost you can walk for ages and he went to one of the um, uh, filmings of a telly program it was some new program he'd never fucking heard of just um, he looked up some website where you can go and it, w it wasn't a America's Got Talent it wasn't a it was like some new he didn't even get it it was like a kind of talent thing but there were certain rules and he didn't know what the fuck was going on but anyway, he left. He's just there by himself. He left and he went for a wee wander about the place. What he didn't know is that you're meant to leave out that door. That's out into the road. He went out and sort of went around that way. He was still in, you know, the kind of studio area. He ended up stumbling onto a film set. So it's like quite a serious scene. Quite a serious thing, a like kind of Godfather type of thing. It's maybe quite serious. Big time actors, big time, big time. Serious thing, serious topic. The, the actors know that had uh, really studied the, the topic and spoke to lots of people. Um, took it really seriously. This is Oscar, multiple Oscar territory. Multiple. Oh, this is Oscar. One of these ones is Oscars all run. Oscars for every cunt. Oscars for the. What do you call it again? Best. Is it supporting? On set therapists. I the lot. Fucking. You know, best, best film, definitely. Best director. It'll be best editing, best fucking soundtrack and all these sorts of things, best original song, best fucking ever, just Oscars everywhere Oscars left, right and centre the sort of thing where the best actor and all that, there's like about three, four different actors in it, who are up for a fucking Oscar um, serious, serious stuff serious stuff, really really good film, modern classic Serious drama. And uh, Craig... <laughs> Craig stumbles... Up when, right in the middle of filming one of the, the most important scenes, one of these ones that for, for years like people would uh, look at on YouTube, two minute, three minute scene, dead serious. People talking about the acting and look how it's lit and everything. Uh, he stumbled on... Like, so he stumbled on, right? Um, it was like in a... It was a kind of uh, a house, sort of interior, living room, sort of place. It wasn't just that, but all kind of dark. Quite like the Godfather. And he stumbles on at the, in the background, 
Right, and here's the thing, it's like meant to be like um, up in a kind of flat apartment sort of thing, you know, in New York, like Manhattan, it's meant to be quite high up, right, looking out. He stumbles on, they've got a green screen outside, right, because um, they're going to replace that with like scenery and all that. Uh, he stumbles on, in the background, like, oh, oh God, who put that there? Oh, oh, hey, what, what's going on? Hey. Like that. And the actors are like, what? And he he looked through the blinds. This is him like meant to be like 20, 30 foils up, looking near like uh, Central Park. And he's like, ah. he, he goes like, Peek Boo, what's going on here then? Peek Boo, Peek Boo. Like that. And then one of the people who was there, see if you can recognise it. One of the actors was like, for God's sakes. For God's sakes! A cyber is dealing with professionals. Professionals. Like, something like that, right? And then... The... The first AD was about to just shout... Cut first assistant a director was about to go like that. Cut director was like wait, 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 wait. And just wait like that. And he stumbled on and a serious fucking scene. Serious. It was like, if you think of, I don't know, Marlon Brando, look how they massacred my boy kind of thing, or um, if I just stick with kind of Godfather type thing, and it was they like the Godfather, but just that sort of kind of ill-respected sort of film and taken seriously and all that type of film. Um, meeting the five families type of thing. Oh, Oh, I'm not interrupted. I take the try to go to, trying to find the toilet. I took to 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 one of the actors who was there, uh, Christian Bale, one of, the, one of the other actors, Margot Robbie, having previously done some serious roles, then Dan Barbie, back to a serious role. Another Oscar on the way for Margot Robbie. She was like that. And Craig went like, hey, you're a, uh, it's you, isn't it? And Margo went like that. <laughs> and the director went like that. Cut! And then they put the whole thing together. The whole film is serious as fuck up until that point. So, if you want to try and imagine. It was kind of like this. This kind of thing. Like that, right? Something like that. Take not or take seriously, you know, like faces like that, faces like this. Felt like a modern classic, and then here, there's a windy. Hey, Peak Boo! I'm not disturbing you, am I? Twenty flares up it's meant to be, and he appears at the fucking windy. And that's like about 
It's a fucking two and a half hour film. That's the two on mark. So you've already spent two hours getting right into it. Then that happens. And then, but it's dealt with. The matter's sort of dealt with. So if you imagine it with the Godfather, I think they've had the meeting, they've talked about things and that's it. You could leave the scene there. But then he comes on. A pee boo. And they do all that. <laughs> they're all laughing. And then it goes out the next scene, back to normal. Everything's back to normal. Um, we're another half hour to go with the film. And it just left in. And the director said, I think it's as real. This is Shakespearean. This is what the, uh, you know, the two, uh, is it like the two porters in, um, is it like the two porters in Macbeth or something? Whatever the, no porters, but a bit of comic relief. Like there's two, there's two guys, it's not like a drunk guy or something, there's two guys uh, guarding the, the castle at night or something and, and um, some drunk guy comes in. Is that a porter? The porter is drunk. It's meant to be a funny bit just to sort of like lighten things up before we get serious again. Well, the, the director thought that would be really good with that, you know, just him sort of appearing at the 20 flare outside the window. No, it's a windy cleaner, but obviously it's just, you know, just mental. Another thing is he was wearing a, a kind of um, a green T-shirt. So his head was sort of floating... No body, but you can still see bits of it, you know, where there were shadows and stuff like that. Um, big, big fucking film. And here's the thing. Imagine it was going to get seven Oscars. It then got Seven T Oscars. It got seventy Oscars. Seventy. Seventy. How many Oscars are given out? Twenty four. So what they did. Was they had all these, they created all these new things because it had never been done before. It had never been done before. And not, not, uh, it had never been done, so they created new ones. Best, best comic relief. Best breaking of the fourth wall. Best this, best that. Because there was a few times where. Uh, the, the director actually stepped out in front of the camera and actually said to the camera, CUT! The best appearance, best cameo of a director. The Hitchcock Award. Things like that. 70. And here's the thing. Craig... Craig didn't win a single Oscar, was not in the final credits, even though he had a speaking part. Um, wasn't given a single penny. Didn't even know he was in the film. You know, whenever you see, he never knew for the rest of his life because he was daft. You know, when you see a cat or a dog, in a film, like let's say Toto and fucking uh, The Wizard of Oz, that dog didn't know it was in a film. That dog just thought it was running about someplace. That's all. Dog does didn't he know it's in a film and we we know of that dog? Does he know? Never knew. It just just running about. Snuffer dogs don't know that they're sending some cunty fucking for uh, getting twenty five year. Think it's a game? Just a wee game? See if you can find this thing and I'll give you, give you your ball, give you your fucking tenny ball. 
Um, Craig never really knew that he was in a film. People would come up to him and go like that. Congratulations. It's a shame about the Oscar, but you fucking well deserved. You deserved at least three people like that. And then, and then Craig is turning to us now after that person has went away. Oscar, my name's Craig. Da -da 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 -da. The end. That's a true story, how do I know? Because I'm Craig. That was me, it's all about me.